Thanks for stopping by guys and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be talking about tanks in the new update. So recently Scrap Mechanic updated to 0.4.1, also known as the survival update or the first tweak after the survival update. So leading up to the survival update, there's a lot of questions about what tanks were going to be once survival updated. Would they be useful in survival? Would they be broken and creative? And that was the biggest worry, that tanks would be unreasonably broken. So, to be honest, it wouldn't have been the first time tanks have been broken by an update, but there was a lot of fear that it would be so broken it wouldn't be worth continuing. So now that the update's been out for a little bit, I've had some time to test, and as you can see, I am in a Seraph variant, and by that you can probably tell that tanks aren't completely broken. There are some issues that will need to be fixed, but they're usable at this point. Or, with some extra modifications, they may be usable. So, like I said, this is a Seraph variant. The reason for that is because, yes, things are broken. One of the first issues I ran into with the tanks are wedges. Before the update, wedges were an issue. They would get stuck on each other because their collisions aren't exactly the best. However, in this recent update, they are 10 times worse. So whenever you can, try and remove any sort of wedges that are colliding with each other or with other blocks. So far, these wedges colliding with the spud guns haven't been giving me issues. However, these on the mantlet have been giving me lots of issues. And these that were on the turret ring have been giving me issues as well. Now that's actually surprising because before, the ones on the mantlet could give you issues, but you could work around it. And the ones on the turret ring didn't have any problem whatsoever, but in the new update, they do have an issue. So that's two things I've changed on this so far. The other one being that bearings are completely busted. They did try and fix this with the recent patch. However, I still would not use a bearing based non-detached cannon. I would probably go to what this has, and that is a piston-based non-detached cannon. So you can see there's pistons here instead of the normal bearings. Bearings are still quite spongy and can cause the rounds to bounce around inside the chamber and prematurely detonate on themselves. The other issue I've been having is the speed of the tanks. With the update, gas and electric engines at full speed have been sped up significantly and that was actually causing quite a bit of issues with um, that sponginess that I was talking about with bearings as well as the slight sponginess with the pistons. So for what I did I turned the engines down by one tick. It's not as fast as they were before but I haven't had any random explosions lately which was an issue when I was at full speed. Sometimes things would get a bit clunky on the inside of the tank and just detonate. And one of the last things I think I've changed about this tank is that cannons are significantly underpowered now. Before, to get a cannon to shoot the same trajectory as a spud gun, you would use a 12 power cannon, which means you're launching a single canister with the power of 12 spud guns. Now, this cannon, which shoots just slightly below that, well within an acceptable range for me, is a 22 power, so we're nearly doubling the power of cannons to get the same performance. And I guess I've missed two more things I forgot to mention. One is the new indestructibility of certain blocks, maintenance ship blocks being one of those. The majority of tanks that we've built are made out of MSB, or maintenance ship blocks, and those are now considered an indestructible item. The issue with that is, well, we don't want tanks to be too overpowered. However, so far in my testing, MSB isn't as OP as you would think. Yes, the block itself is indestructible, but it really doesn't protect that much of the meaty interior of the tank. Seats are still destroyed, canisters still detonate, and major components are still very, very much vulnerable. So for the time being, I don't think MSBs are going to be banned in any way, just because they're mild benefit to armor, which is something we've been needing, by the way, doesn't break it as much as you would expect. And I think 
I'll say this again, this is probably the last issue I've noticed with tanks, is when playing multiplayer battles, your name tags show up from across the map through terrain. So sneaking is now not an option. You can always tell where enemies are on the map. And you can't tell that while I'm in a single player. However, we have been testing it in multiplayer and yeah, you can track your enemies' movements anywhere. So those are the issues, those are some of the fixes, and what do I think is going to happen with tanks in the near future? Well, we're still going to have to kind of figure things out, play around a little bit. But for the time being, I think the current rules we have in place will work just fine. And what's pretty much going to happen is we're going to start falling into new metas. Before, making tanks that were very high capacity magazines, very fast, was the meta. But now we're going to have to find that nice balance between stability and firepower. Where we can't go way over the top anymore like we were before. So hopefully that kind of gives you guys an idea of where tanks are, where tanks might be going. And a bit of an assurance saying that yes, tanks still work and still function completely fine in the new update. So long as you do a little bit of tweaking. Oh, I did not mean to place that there. So hopefully you did enjoy this little informative video. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing. Please subscribe, it helps out a lot. And right now, shares help the channel the most. So if you do want to help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for sticking around, and until next time, peace.